The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, second canto, third chapter, text number ten, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on May 28, 1972, in Los Angeles. Translation. A person who has broader intelligence, who may be full of all material desire, or may be without any material desire, and who also desires liberation, by all means, must worship the Supreme Whole Personality of Godhead. Hmm. So, this is our conclusion. There are uh, three classes of men, uh, human beings, not with hands and legs, actually human beings, those uh, who know what is the purpose of life. The purpose of life, the first basic principle of our life is that we have come here in this material world for uh, becoming master, lording it over the material nature. Although we cannot do it, that is our desire. They are called sarvakāma. There is no limit of desires. Anyone, you find out ordinarily in this world, you ask him, what is your ultimate desire? There is no limit. Therefore, it says sarvakāma. Pralayāntu pāsitam. Till the time of death there is desire. A dying man, he is also desired. I have seen it practically. Uh, one gentleman in Allahabad, he was contemporary of our age. He was dying at the age of fifty-four years, and he was crying, and he was requesting the doctor. Uh, he was a very rich man. Uh, my dear doctor, can you not give give me at least four years' life? So I could finish my program. The nonsense, what is your program? You see? I've seen it. Uh, <clears throat> don't move leg like that. <clears throat> so Therefore they are called uh, sarvakam. There is no end. He does not know he is going to die, uh, and he thinks that doctor can prolong his life. Uh, is it possible to prolong life? Not for a second even. When you are destined to die, you must die. Mittu sarva harascha hum. This death is Krishna. He cannot defy Krishna. That is not possible. Krishna says, Mrtu aham sarva harastu. Just like uh, Prahlad Maharaj's father. He was so proud and he was confident. Now I have taken benediction from Brahma. I live forever. So he was very much proud. Hmm? Just like the Kormis, they also think, oh, when there will be disease and there will be point of death, I shall take care very nicely. There are so many good physicians, I shall call them and they will give me life. So this is uh, demonic. You cannot protect yourself. Uh, by so-called science, physician, or power. It is not possible. Because the death is Krishna. Ravan, Hiranyakasipu, all many demons, they thought it that we shall live forever. So anyone who is thinking like that, he is a demon. He cannot stop death. Mrittu sarva harascha aham. 
Krishna. If you don't give to Krishna, then Krishna will appear just like uh, Nishinkadev and he will take away everything from you and kill you. That's all. Now who can challenge? Who is there? Who can challenge Krishna? No, nobody can. That is Krishna. Uh. So the Sarvakama, so up to the end of life, all these politicians we have seen, Gandhi in our country, Jalal Nehru, uh, he, he was attacked, heart attack, several times, and doctor said, Within a week, he'll have to wear. Still, he was going to the his side to recoup his health. And when he was on the point of death, uh, he was brought to New Delhi and died. So, up to the point of death, he was thinking that I must remain a prime minister, otherwise, the whole thing will be lost. In my absence, if I am not on the seat, then everything will be lost. This is Maya. Gandhi was thinking like that. Uh, he agitated this political movement against the British rule. The British had went away. Uh, I requested him that now you have got Saraj and you are so respectable in the world, you take this propaganda to preach Bhagavad-gītā. No. You would still, still stick to this politics, unless you are skilled. You are skilled, you know. So this is the propensity, sarva-kāma. There is no end of their desire. No end. They are called sarvakāma. So here it is a very common name. Akāma, just the opposite. Akāma, niskinchan. They have finished all this nonsense, material diseases, Vaishnav. Just like you have taken sunlash. It is, suppose that you have finished all your material diseases. This is called akam, uh, just the opposite. And the other side, sarvakam. There is all, no end of desire, material desire. So, uh, hmm. Vasudev recommends, all right, you may be sakama, sakama means without end of any desires, full of desires. And between these, there is another moksha kāma. So sakāma akā, sarvakāma karmīs. Those who are working very hard, just like animals. Animals are meant for working hard. But now men are being educated to work like animals. Animals. There is no end. So they are called karmis. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, Krishna has designated these animals, these karmi animals, who are working very, very hard, just like uh, hogs and dogs. Uh, they have been uh, described in the Bhagavad Gita as murha. Murha, rascal, foolish. Uh, Vishwala Chakravarti Thakur has explained why they are murha. Uh, this could mean uh, they want some eat, eating, sleeping, mating. But why so much hard work? Now, eating, sleeping, mating, they just see the birds, they are free. They don't work at night at least. 
But human being, they are night. Night also, night duty. I shall get some more money. So there is no end. How they can be happy? They are simply thinking of that I shall work very hard and I shall get money and enjoy my senses. So where is the question of happiness? The karmis cannot have happiness because their method is to work hard. But how they can be happy? Similarly, gharis, moksha kama, uh, after being disgusted that I worked so hard uh, throughout my whole life, I could not get peace. Therefore, it is false. Jagat mithya. Mithya means false. This is Sankaracharya philosophy. Jagat mithya. Mithya means false. Brahma sat. Now let me search out where is Brahma and become one with him. That is also another labor. Ah. Speculating, they have to interpret all this Vedic literature ah, to make God dead, void, impersonal, nullified. So they have to gather their arguments. That is another labor hard labor. So they are also working hard. Yogis, they want to show some magic. I can walk on the water. Uh, I can fly in the air without any airship. I can go this planet, that planet. Yogis can do that. They have got this magical power. Uh, I can create immediately gold, uh, and if you can show this magical feast, immediately you get so many. Uh, but uh, that kind of yogi also very rare to be found. And now in your country, yogi means who can show some gymnastic, that's all. <clears throat> so they are also working hard uh, because they have got karma. The yogi. He wants to be very popular by showing magic, eh? because general people, they cannot walk on the water. But if somebody can walk on the water, oh, millions of people immediately go to the Pacific Ocean to see. So therefore they want siddhi. Eh? Actually there are yogis in Siddha law, uh, without any flying machine, they can go from one planet to another. Durbhasa Mani, he went. Within a year he came back. He went to Vaikuntha planet. Yogi, great yogi. He saw the Supreme Personality of Godhead face to face. But he was not excused. He went to beg pardon uh, so that he may be saved from the Sudarshan Chakra. She went to Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, and all big, big demigods. Please save me. The Sudarshan Chakra is after me. Uh, so everyone said, we, we are unable to do anything. Uh, you can go to Lord Vishnu. So he went to Lord Vishnu, he saw him, he talked with him. And Lord Vishnu also said, well, I cannot do anything. You must go to Ammiris Maharaj and fall down on his feet and beg his pardon. Then you can be saved. So this is the position. And Ammiris Maharaj was a devotee. He did not know anything. He was simply depending on Krishna. So just see who is powerful. Ah. And even the yogis are not so powerful as the devotees. Why? Because devotees fully surrendered to Krishna, 
Fully surrendered, if Krishna likes, he will save me. Otherwise, I don't try for myself. I have to simply serve Krishna. That's all. And Krishna takes charge of his saving. And when Krishna wants to kill, just like Prahlad Maharaj, ordinary, uh, not ordinary, but a simple boy, and how much torturing was going on upon him by his father, but he was saved by Krishna. Ultimately, when it was intolerable, then he appeared and killed the rascal. So, uh, therefore, devotees are akāma. Uh, they don't uh, have any desire. Even in greatest danger, they do not ask Krishna. That is pure devotion. Annāvilāsitā sunnā. Hmm. So, Chaitanya Chaitā Amrita says that bhukti mukti siddhi kāmi Sakoli asant Krishna bhakta niskam atayev shant. Shanta means peaceful. Who is peaceful? Uh, only Krishna bhakta, devotee of Krishna. He is peaceful. Others, no. They cannot be peaceful. Why? That there is demand. The karmi is wanting to uh, lord it over this material world. The jnani is wanting to become one with God. The yogi is wanting some wonderful power. So there is wanting. It may be of different category, but there is demand. Uh, but Akama, he has no demand. That's all. He doesn't want anything from Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching him. Nadanangana janangana sandarin kavitanga jagadis akama. I don't want. I don't want money. I don't want followers. I don't want nice wife. These things are wanted by the materialist. Oh. A devotee simply wants to give me the chance of serving him. That's all. Hare Krishna, Hare Radharani. Krishna, Lord, you are both present here. Kindly give me the chance to serve you. That's all. This is a calm. So, a calm. They have no other business. They simply to serve Krishna. Mama Janvani Janvani Shari Bhagavatad Bhakti Rahoi Tukitai. My dear Lord, I don't want anything. But give me this uh, facility that I may be engaged in your service. That's all. So Bhagavata recommend that even though you are a fool number one, you are demanding from Krishna Sarva Kama or Moksha Kama. Still you worship Krishna. Don't go to other demigods. Because we have seen the least of demigods. If you want the prescription is there. If you want this, you worship this deity. If you want this, you worship this deity. But they are all kāma. And the Bhagavad-gītā, these kāmi, uh, these lusty persons, have been condemned. Kāma-istastha hitogyāna. Hitogyāna, lost of all intelligence. That means rescue. In good language, it is Hitogyana, uh, one who has lost his intelligence. Huh? 
The heat of jnana is explained by Vishnu Chakravarti, nasta buddhaya, uh, nasta buddha, no intelligence, no intelligence. Uh, so uh, why no intelligence? No, that is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Antabhattu phalamati The benediction they get from the demigods. Just like it is recommended, we have read it, that if you want beautiful wife, you worship Uma. If you want a very strong sexual power, then you worship Indra. So this is Prescription is there. But they are foolish. Why foolish? They suppose you get very beautiful wife and very strong sex power, then how long you will enjoy it? Antavattu phalam tisa. It will end. Five years, ten years, even in living condition, uh, uh, if you have become old, seventy years, eighty years old, then what you will do with beautiful wife? And, uh, there will be no more sex power. Vidhasa uh, taruni vajya. Vidhasa, these are useless. Uh, when one has become old, uh, to have a young wife is troublesome for him. So therefore, uh, we should not desire anything material. Uh, they are all temporary. It will finish. Uh, it will finish. Uh, therefore, Chaitanya Chaitama, the same Chaitanya Krishna Das Kavita says, Krishna je bhaji shivara chyotu. Anyone who takes to Krishna consciousness, takes the shelter of Krishna, he is the perfect intelligent man. So here it is recommended that you fools, you rascals, akama, sarva kama, eh, sarva, not akama, sarva kama, moksha kama, you are all rascals. Therefore, Vaisdeva is advising, all right, even though you are rascal, you are full of desires, you are full of becoming one with the Supreme, still you worship. Oh, jajita purusam param. The Supreme Personality of God. Still you do that. That is the recommendation. Don't go to others. Uh, now the question is, the bhakti means annavilasita uh, sunnam. One must be free from all kinds of desires. That is pure hope. Now it is recommended here, the sarva-kāma, moksha-kāma, those who are desiring for all material opulences, those who are desiring for becoming liberated. So they are not annavilāsita sunnam. They are desires. So how they can be bhakta? How they can be devotee? Because devotee is pure, yes, no. Akam. Oh, why it is recommended? The recommendation is there also for demigods. That is freedom. The Shastra is giving you all freedom. If you like, you do this. But ultimately gives his instruction, just like Krishna. He has spoken so many things. Jnana Yoga, Dhyana Yoga, Karma Yoga. But at the end he says, Sarvadan Man Parittaja, Mame So we give up all this nonsense. Simply surrender it. That is the ultimate instruction. So that means Hastra gives you freedom. At the same time gives you chance. Hastra is not. Just like we are free 
and the state laws are there, and we are free to violate it or to abide by it. Similarly, all these hastras, everything is there. And the freedom is also there. Not, uh, I mean to say, the ultimate freedom, but there is freedom, a small freedom. We can make our choice. Here also the same thing uh, Bhaktivedanta is giving, at least, that if you want this, you are see this demigod, jānti deva prata divān, pitri in jānti pitri prataha. But if you are intelligent, udāradhi, uh, udāradhi, very intelligent, then in spite of, despite all your desire, you become Krishna conscious. You go to Krishna. Purusham Param. Who is Purusham Param? Krishna. Arjuna accept him. Param Brahma Param Dhamma. Pavitram Paramam Bhavan. All Paramam. Supreme. Purusham. Ah, you are the Supreme Person. The same thing. Purusham Param. The Brahma Sangita. Ah. Ishara Parama Krishna is Param Supreme Superlative is Krishna in every respect. He is the Supreme Part. Purushottama Uttama. Nobody get at that Krishna. So here it is recommended that even if you have got desires, all kinds of desires. There are varieties of desires. Eh? Even you want jnana siddhi, yoga siddhi, karma siddhi, or dhyana siddhi. Eh? Eh? Simply go to Krishna. That's all. Jat karosi, jat juhosi, Krishna also says, jat karosi, you want to do something. This is all activities. Either you are karmi, jnani, or yogi, there are activities. The meditation, so-called meditation, that is also another activity, mental activity. So why it is recommended like that they have, they are not devotees, they are sarvakāma, if they go to, to worship Krishna, uh, uh, that is, there is facility. There is like Dhruva Maharaj. Dhruva Maharaj, he was Sarvakama. He wanted material happiness. He was insulted by his stepmother. He determined that I shall have such kingdom which even my father also did not enjoy. My father, uh, wife has insulted me, I shall show him. This kind of determination is there, and that I shall show him. Uh, so it was Sarvakama. When Narod approached Dhruva Maharaj and informed me, my dear boy, you are a prince, you are so delicate, you cannot accept these uh, troubles of living in the jungle. It is very, very difficult. Great, great sages, they could not. You better go home. Uh, and when you get old, when time will be right, you can come. Uh, now you go home. So he was a son of Kshatriya. He was so determined. He said, uh, My dear sir, I thank you for your instruction. But I am so rascal, I cannot accept. Just see. I am Chhatriya. Your, this Brahminical instruction uh, will not be acceptable by me. So if you can give me uh, any mantra by which I can see the Supreme Lord, just talk of that. I want to see. Yeah. 
Then Narada Muni saw he is so determined, he is not going back. Then he gave him Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudhi. Chant this. And he saw Krishna, Vishnu, within six months, was so determined. And but when Krishna offered him, now you ask me what I would like, you can take from me. You have undergone so much severe austerities, you can take. So you are sorry. Uh, now, Samin Krita Tosmi Barangana Jache. My dear Lord, I have no more any desire. I don't want it. Uh, I want everything. Not only everything, more than everything. I have seen you. So I don't want anything. Okay? This chance is there. Even with your karma, desire, you execute devotional service, make connection with the Supreme Lord. A time will come, you will become a karma. No more. A time will come. Therefore it is a command. Not that Sarva Kama goes to Krishna and simply bother him, give me this, give me this. No. Let him uh, talk like that, give me this, give me that. Krishna will see to that. But by devotional service, if he comes in contact with Krishna seriously, then time will come, he will become a calm. Therefore it is a government. Not that it is advised that you go to Krishna and ask all nonsense from him. That is not pure devotion. Pure devotion is a calm. Nothing. So it is recommended here only that a, a devotee, even he is foolish in the beginning, to ask from Krishna all material facilities, and still when he is engaged in devotion, when it comes to the perfectional state, or when he comes in contact with the pure devotee, he gives us all this nonsense. And as a pure devotee, he simply engages himself without any return, without any profit, in the service of the Lord. Thank you very much.